Hey, it's Roger from The Roger McDonald Show. It is my great privilege to in introduce and interview today Evelyn Van Fort from Wired for Business Growth. How are you, Evelyn? I'm very well. Thank you for having me, Roger. Well, it's really great to see you, Evelyn, and you've got a fantastic background. You're the head of this really awesome Facebook group, which is called Wired for Business Growth, and if our viewers can check that out, Wired for Business Growth on Facebook, it's a really awesome group. It's free to join, and you have daily material posted there every day, but before we go into that, Evelyn, would you like to tell us about yourself? What's your background? Um, my background is corporate. I'm a strategic marketer, so I spent um, a lot of time uh, working in that space. I left corporate in December, I think, 2014 to do my own thing, took up coaching and incorporated the marketing into it. So now I'm, I'm into new business development. So, yeah, it's really good fun. I'm having a really good time. <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us about this uh, Wide for Business Growth Facebook group that you have. Yes, so I, I, you know, I've, got, I've had my head buried in entrepreneurship for a, you know something like eighteen months, or well, nearly two years now, and mm. I'm learning a lot along the way. And I just needed somewhere to put it all, basically. Mm. So I started the group in uh, February when I was sort of quite new to social media, and I kind of, you know, put my first post up and ran for my life, as mm. you do. <laughs> starting out on social yep. and yeah, it just sort of kicked off slowly I sort of uh, very slowly started to get comfortable with social and then I sort of got to the point where I was feeling that I had a little bit of skill and I understood my audience pretty well and what they needed mm -hmm. and so at that point I used my connections to try and start building the audience a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and so now we've gone from I suppose, from a handful of people to over 800 now in, yeah, a bit over six months, I suppose. And there's so, daily posts, isn't there? Daily posts, yeah. It's a big commitment. You get used to it. Mm. When I first started it, after the first month, I've gone, oh, my God, what have I done? You know, I have to do this every day. But you kind of get used to it. Yeah, it's mm. good. No, and I love that idea, like you're generating value out to the community, out to the business world. And that, that's just an awesome thing because it engages that reciprocity where the value comes back and people see that you know what you're doing, you're an expert. And how does Wired for Business Growth, um, what's that, how does that play in your marketing strategy for your particular business? Yeah, well, it's interesting because if you go to the page, what the first thing you'll notice is that it's not monetized in, in any way. So, But what it really is for me is a powerful conversion tool. So people who are at the point when they're ready to purchase you know, my kinds of services, will go to that page and they will check me out mm -hmm. and they might scroll through a month, you know, full of posts or something and then, you know, the very next day they'll be on the phone talking wow. to me or, or PMing me. So, yeah, the fans of the page are generally not my clients but they will join the page just before they make contact with me to get a sense of, you know, who I am and, and what I stand for. So it's been really, really good for business that way. And, and you were just in our chatting earlier on, you told me one of your pet peeves for coaches who post on social media, and I really, I thought you were, you were spot on. You're absolutely spot on. So would you like to share that with our audience today? Yeah, it's, um, you know, you scroll through your news feed every day, and I see a lot of posts from, from coaches that, um, that really make their prospects work pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And um, they tend to engage them in the same way that they engage each other, like fellow coaches. So they really challenge them hard. So an example of that might be a coach will put a post up saying, you know, I overcame this particular challenge today. Yeah. And, um, and then they'll say something like, you know, and how are you going to stretch yourself today? Mm -hmm. You know, and you can imagine the prospect. They've got no... Uh, experience with coaching, they have no coaching tools, they have no intention of stretching themselves today because they actually don't know how, so they mm. just back right off, you know. Mm. And, and, and what, it, so what it actually does is, is it makes them feel like they're not good enough mm. because they're not capable of stretching themselves today or meeting that challenge today. So I think... It has the opposite effect, doesn't it? Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> Yeah, so they're not, you know, they're just not engaging uh, very well. So, yeah, just give them, give, give mm. value, solve the problem, talk about your own challenges, but, yeah, don't make them um, do stuff that they're not ready to do. Yeah. There's a lot of people that ask questions, and I think that's probably a really basic form of engagement for people, you know. Mm. I think 
when you ask people questions, it's not always easy to add value. You're not always adding value that way. You're not solving the problem by asking questions. You, you need to give. You need yes. to solve the problem. Give them the tools. So if the person right. with their own map, they can sort of take what they need from what you've posted and, and sort of find some, yes. some common ground there. And, but if you sort of ask them questions like you would in a coaching session or even at school, a teacher would ask their students that people sort of go, whoa, I can't do this. I just came on social media just to try and yeah. have some fun and here I am being asked questions that, that determine my yeah, destiny. It doesn't connect, does it? Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> not connecting. And, and um, yeah, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of that. So, And I think what it does, one of the things that it does is, is it makes coaching seem like a really kind of um, – blunt instrument you know mm. for sol you know for solving your confidence issues yes you know that people are, you know you get a coach and they're going to come in with a whip and start you know. i know <laughs> you know they're just not ready for that so yeah <laughs> thank you roger for letting me get that out of my system <laughs> <laughs> because i think coaches uh in their early days they, they tend to kind of model someone who they think is pretty cool and if that person's really direct and gets the whip out and they yeah. try and model them, but if it's not who they are, it comes across, it just really it crashes and burns. And, yeah, 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 so. yeah. So tell us about the days. We've got a bit of time. So why for business growth? What are your particular mm -hmm. offers on every day? What happens every day of the week? Or what do you do? Yeah, so Monday's all about um, business planning and strategy, and, and that's the, the real tough one to get people engaged with, you know, mm -hmm. but it's, it's so important when starting your own business to get structure around all those ideas and all that all that thinking so yep. that's Mondays and then Tuesdays is all about mindset mm -hmm. uh, which we all know is you know uh, a big part of the journey and then on Wednesdays we have uh, technology which you know drives most of us insane and uh, <laughs> yeah and I'm experimenting with Wednesdays at the moment because I've decided that it you know I'm, I'm going to start experimenting with just tips you know basic little tips on mm -hmm. you know on, on the simple stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that one's kind of um, I'm playing with. Thursday's all about marketing mm -hmm. and um, marketing strategy, marketing tactics, that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, Friday is um, Friday is leadership, which is big. I'm big on leadership, so leading yourself. So um, that one gets a, a fair bit of... Um, Fair bit of traffic as well. Saturdays is is the opportunity for people to promote their own business. So you know that's when they can talk all about themselves. Yes. And then some, yeah. And then and then Sundays are pretty free day, really. It's kind of it's kind of about trying to understand that we're all, you know, we're all here living in a big wide world, and, and everything that's happening and happening around us impacts our business and it impacts our clients as well. So it's just trying to get a handle on, you know all the change that's going on out there at the moment and um, and how that affects us and how, how that affects our clients, yeah. And the good so, thing about your group is that people from around the world can access it. You know, different, yeah. you know, do you have many people from different countries? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't really keep an eye on that. There's a few there. I mean, like, I've got people from places like Jordan and stuff like that. Wow. Which is, oh, pretty interesting and and you know there's a few from the united states and the uk would be the two most common ones but yeah they come from some um uh, you know one from the U one from the ukraine there's somebody there from the ukraine i've noticed and yes yeah, so i like that because you get a really different perspective from you know people on the other side of the world so what i love about your group ev is that um, um it's australia wide and it's even global mm -hmm. so i noticed that there's sometimes small business groups for little towns and even cities I mean, yeah. out there, and and so what that does is it it, it makes people understand that if they're starting a business, getting into business, that there's a lot of people in the same boat. There's a lot of people they can draw upon. There's a lot of stuff they need to learn. Uh, I mean, it's it's yeah. massive the amount you need to learn in business. And you know, sometimes people, you know, people have an idea they want to do this, and they start out and they start making money. But th to be in business the long haul, there's so much to learn, and and it's really like tapping into groups like yours. Where, where people can start learning and growing and continuing to grow. But if, you, if people yep. tap into their own sort of little business, like our local, we've got a local business Facebook group and really people just promote themselves. There's not much learning. There's not much value being given. People just post that this is what I'm doing. Come and get this. Yeah. There's so much more to business. There's so, it's, it's so deep, so many levels. Yeah, and, 
I think the point is that it's constantly evolving and, you know, that's how the world is going at the moment. Everything is like nothing is standing still. So if you stand still, then, uh, you know, basically you're going to be in trouble. You'll find yourself, you know, in trouble in a few years' time. And there was a... I was reading a post the other day that was saying that you have to spend five hours a week on informal learning, you know, most of that happens on the internet, just to keep up with the pace of change that's going on at the moment, which is, um, you know, which is a lot of time for a lot of people. But, yeah, it's um, really important. The good news is is if if anyone's starting out in business, if you just hang in there and you keep learning, you will succeed. You just cannot help but succeed by learning and continue to learn and grow. And, um, you know, many people start a business and they fail and they go, oh, that's it, I'm not good good at business. It's about continuing learning and growing, isn't it? Yeah, and, I, you know, I've got this saying where, you know, where I talk to people who say, oh, you know, I can't find my niche, I'm not feeling, you know, I'm not very creative and stuff. And, you know, it's mm. it's like what they do is that they, they kind of spend their whole life collecting, say, blue Lego blocks, if you like. Mm. You know, and then what they build, they build out of the blue Lego bo- uh, blocks and it doesn't look <laughs> yeah. particularly interesting or inspiring. So the whole idea is to explore the big wide world around you because that's where the inspiration comes from. Not from what you know, but from what you don't know. And you need to be exploring like all different types of industries and, you know, just all different types of ideas to get all that. And that's kind of what wide is about is just putting it all in there uh, for people to contemplate and, and um, yeah, yeah, take, yeah, take what they need. Fantastic. Well, you've got a a fantastic tip for us today for our audience. Oh, yeah. um, Imagery. Yeah. Mm. There's um, one of the things that people forget sometimes is that there's about, you know, five billion pieces of content being posted on Facebook uh, (laughs) every single day, you know. And so, so, you know, people are scrolling through their their news feeds. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to your business page. They're scrolling through their new feed, their news feeds and you've got about a quarter of a second to grab their attention, you know, to stop them from from scrolling and and uh, imagery is actually the way to do that. Images mm-hmm. are really powerful for stopping people in their tracks yeah. and making them look at your post. And um, it's really important, I think, to establish an emotional connection, to have something that's quite beautiful and inspiring, something that makes them want to linger longer. It doesn't have to be something that sits perfectly literally with your post it just needs to be something that will stop them in their tracks and um yeah that will instantly improve your engagement levels that's a um really powerful tool imagery that i think is really underutilized yeah i was reading in a book about um you know human beings have our crop brain which is our kind of primordial reptile brain and and it's like we're in the forest and we see this these leaves move, and then all of a sudden we get this instinct to fight, f- run, or freeze yeah. in order to survive. Same thing with Facebook and social media when we just see the same stuff, same stuff, you know. And then there's something that just captures our attention because it's like, whoa, what the heck is that? I've never seen that before. It activates their reptile brain, and people for a second are captured. And then that's yeah. um, that's what, you know, having a beautiful picture or something, it's just, you know, people tend, tend to switch off to the amount of stimuli coming. So it's really got to be something unique. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's how you do it. That's how you capture their attention. What so, been, what's been one of your more successful ones that have you thought of someone's posted and you've gone, wow, that's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, metaphors. Well, coaches will love this. Metaphors are fabulous. Yeah. You know. So, um, I had a post on where I was talking about disc energies. You know, mm-hmm. and I had I had um, animals representing the different en- energies. You know, so like I, I have a dog with you know glasses on, be the sea energy. You know, and, and um, you know, the dancing dog was the eye energy. And you know what I mean? So you, your metaphors are really good. So if you oh. if you, you do something that's a little bit creative and interesting and, and unexpected because, you know, people don't expect you to have dogs that represent, you know, yeah, very cool. personality types. So, yep. yeah, stuff like that is, is really, um, really gets a lot of attention. So, yeah, metaphors are great. Use metaphors for your imagery. They're, fab- they're fabulous. <laughs> I've got one of, uh, one of my ones I'm going to put up pretty soon. It's, it's, it's got a, a gravestone which says, yeah. your name here, unfulfilled potential, life of quiet desperation, procrastinated, blah, 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 blah. 
yeah, yeah. may they find happiness in the air after. You know, just something that's like, whoa, that's pretty strong. So I'll see yeah, that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Really, really, they love it. They yeah. love it. Go for it. I'll send it to you. <laughs> Um, so you've got a promotion. What's some great promotion you've got today for us? Yeah, so um, basically the first three people who uh, PM me uh, at Wired for Business Growth or actually if they PM me and say wire me for business growth, I'll give them a free assessment of their Facebook page. Love it. And give them some tips and advice on how they can improve it. So, uh I'll do that by email. So, yeah, I'll just give them, I'll spend an hour going over their page and I'll, I'll, I'll give it a workout. I'll, I'll try not to be too <laughs> brutal, <laughs> but I am a de-energy. So. Well, you know what? Everyone who makes a business makes a Facebook page and they, they, most people don't do anything with it. So I think yeah. getting some advice from someone like you who's been doing it for a long time will be tremendous value for people. So Yeah, well, they great. say that... Um, they say that Facebook's going to uh, overtake Google as a major search, uh, search engine soon. So, yeah, get a Facebook page, people. It's really important. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Facebook's taking over the world. <laughs> Thanks yeah. so much, Ev. This is Evelyn Thanks Van Ford. Jo. Really appreciate it. It's been fun. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, Wired for Business Growth, you can check out the links to the, the Facebook page in the, page in the links below the video. Thank you so much, Ev, and I really, I'm really excited about posting this because I believe you're a great person and people need to get to know you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ev. <laughs> okay, talk again Bye. soon. Bye. Bye.